Professor Dave and Chegg here. We have been learning about coordination compounds in which ligands coordinate to transition metal centers. Looking at coordination compounds also gives us an opportunity to define certain types of isomerism. Let's define this word and check out some important subcategories in the context of coordination compounds. The word isomerism refers to isomers, which are chemical species that have the same molecular formula but differ in some way. The way in which isomers differ depends on what kind of isomers they are, so let's learn about the different kinds of isomers. The two main types we will look at are structural isomers and stereoisomers. Structural isomers are molecules with the same molecular formula, but different connectivity, so the same number and types of atoms, just connected differently. This could mean coordinate isomerism, where the composition of a complex ion varies. Look at these two chromium complexes. In one of them, the sulfate is coordinated and bromide is the counterion to the complex, and in the other, bromide is coordinated and sulfate is the counterion. There is also linkage isomerism. This is where the composition stays the same, but the point of attachment for one or more ligands differs. Certain ligands can coordinate from different atoms, like the thiocyanate ion, which can coordinate from either the nitrogen or the sulfur, or the nitrite ion, which can coordinate from either the nitrogen or one of the oxygens. Next, we have stereoisomerism. Stereoisomers are molecules with the same molecular formula and the same connectivity, but they differ in the way the atoms or groups are arranged in space. So for these complexes, that would take the form of geometric isomers, if ligands swap places so as to generate a different stereoisomer. This is also called cis-trans isomerism, since in one complex, two ligands may be cis to one another, but in the other, they are trans. Again, the connectivity is the same. The central atom has all the same bonds, but the spatial orientation of the ligands changes. There are also optical isomers, where molecules are simply mirror images of one another. A compound with two optical isomers is said to be chiral, and each of them is one of two enantiomers. When a molecule is chiral, it cannot be precisely superimposed on its mirror image, as the mirror image is its enantiomer, and they are different molecules. Additionally, as a whole, any chiral compound will be optically active, meaning it will rotate plane polarized light. With that, we have defined isomerism and described the types of isomerism. Terms like chiral, enantiomer, and optical activity are all very good definitions to know, particularly if you will be moving on to organic chemistry, where they are ubiquitous. But for now, that's a little bit of information regarding coordination compounds. Professor Dave Furchegg, see you next time.